to the fans about that, but a COVID outbreak among the tournament has postponed the tournament. I'm still releasing the the documentary, though, uh, on the same day because I'll I'll just work for three days straight on editing the video. So we'll be good. We'll all we'll, we'll be good. Just a little hiccup in the plan, but no problem. Um, Layton, how you doing? Are you disappointed you're not there? You're not at my house tonight? Yeah, it was a bummer getting delayed, especially from such circumstances. I think the U.S. government had to delay it because they couldn't hold 4th of July and the Chaotically Intolerant Classic in the same month. <laughs> Within the same span of one month, we have to have it on August 5th and 6th. We can't have it on August 4th because that's one month from July 4th. We can't take away from the shine of July 4th. That so if anybody, if anybody wants to blame anyone, it's the U.S. government. I say we should storm the Capitol. <laughs> Whoa. I say we should storm the Capitol because we're all upset about this. Okay, let's Again, go take pictures of people's desks. The chaotically intolerant classic will be a national holiday. <laughs> Everyone gets off work for that. All businesses shut down. I even mean like essential, like hospitals, they shut down so people can go watch it. Nobody's going to work. All the patients, fuck them. For a day, who cares? Um, there were there was two things I wanted to talk about first. Uh, Leighton, your favorite billionaire, Elon Musk, his dad's been getting into some trouble lately. Um, his Elon Musk's dad had sex with his stepdaughter and they're having a child now. Okay. How do you feel about that? Um, well, I think as a, a, a musketeer, if you will, we should be in full support. After all, Elon Musk believes we have a population. Uh, we have an underpopulation problem so you know he's just trying to do his he's trying to do his part. exactly you know and if he can have sex with his stepdaughter and have a kid and that helps go ahead mm -hmm. thank you the, musk the musketeers are in full support <laughs> what? well that be elon. <laughs> what's his name we did we talked about elon musk before errol musk congrats thank you errol musk we have a national holiday for him having sex with his stepdaughter. That's a national holiday. He's just trying to do his part and help the world out. So thank you so much. We love you, Errol Musk. Um, who, who's his, uh, let's see, who's it? Who's the stepdaughter? See what she looks like. Oh, not bad. Good jeans. <laughs> yeah, she's a pretty girl. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of creepy that uh, you know he he had it with her, but you know whatever. Congrat, love is love. You know we're we're in a very tolerant space, although this is chaotically intolerant. So I think we should be intolerant towards that. So it's pretty gross. I think if, most if people be... should be intolerant to that. <laughs> If, if I'm going to be in the trust tree here, if I'm going to be in a little bubble, that's pretty gross. What 100% <laughs> would not do that. Would not do that. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> Angel, how about you? How about you? I'm doing pretty good. No. <laughs> <laughs> would, would, you, would you have a child with your stepdaughter? I would have a child with my stepdaughter. Like Elon Musk's dad, yeah. Um, I would not. It's pretty no? weird. Why not? It's pretty weird. Okay, that's a fair. That's a fair statement. <laughs> <laughs> pretty fair statement. All right, that's all I wanted to cover. Um, so this week is our meme draft. Uh, this was a pretty difficult one, at least for me to research. Uh, Leighton misunderstood. Um, what was going on so he wasn't prepared Angel um, just did a little bit of his research now which is perfectly fine um, so the categories you have one classic meme so you know the ones that kind of built everything else 
um, one movie slash TV meme, one politician meme or political meme, uh, one sports meme, and one miscellaneous. Um, so we will do the random number generator. I'm going to share the, the random number generator. What are you, 24? 24. Yeah. 25. <laughs> 25. I'll do uh, 23. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm immediately lost. What? It's gonna be. <laughs> what if oh, it's yeah. 24? What if it's 24? Hold on. Let's see. Let's see. Generate. It's gonna oh, be like two it. again. Over. <laughs> it's the same problem that we had last time. God damn it! Are you? Why is this so difficult? Here we go. Okay. <laughs> 22! Oh my god, I thought it was going to be 24. <laughs> okay. That's crazy. That's okay, okay I'll, go, I'll go one. Uh, Angel was actually second closest, so yeah. Angel. Mm. Well, what place do you want to go? Do you want to go second or third? I was second. Okay. Uh, Leighton, which, <laughs> which place Yo, do you want I'm, to go? I'm last. I'm last. <laughs> okay. Um, all right, my first one, I'm going to take from the least, uh, I guess the not as deep category. I'm going to go sports category. I'm going the Jordan crying meme. You know, it's, it's, it's a classic, um, but it technically is also in the sport. So I'm going to take it in sports. Um, Jordan crying meme is hilarious. You use it for anybody who's butthurt about something. Um, so yeah, that was, that was going to be my, my first sport. That was gonna be my first pick. That was going to be my sports pick too, but I've got a backup. I've got a backup. There's a, there's a few sports memes. It's got sports memes are kind of tough out there, but there, there's a lot more like, it's kind of a niche, I guess. Jordan is like the number one, I think. So angel. I'm going to do the, um. Uh, the MJ and I took that personally. I mean, another Jordan one. Is that the one you had in the in the bank, Layton? No. Okay. No, I, I guess I I guess I'm not very cultured in sports memes. Because. <laughs> well, again, I don't think no. it's not too deep of a category, so it's understandable going sports number one and number two of the draft. Um, yeah, I took that personally. Meme is. If anybody doesn't know, I mean, how do you not know where that came from? It came from The Last Dance uh, yeah. in 2020. Fantastic documentary and top tier meme. When I see that, it almost always makes me makes me giggle at least a little bit. Um, so Leighton. That's why I chose it. I I'll do my sports one as well. <laughs> and I just did the, like, the had us in the first half. That's a good one. But, yeah. That's a good one. A little, a little newer. I'm not as cultured in the classic sports memes, but yeah. that's still a very good one. Oh, I, I like that one. So, Leighton, you're up again. Okay, I'm gonna do my political one then, and I'm just gonna do the I'm gonna come clip <laughs> <laughs> of Trump. <laughs> that one's that one's is pretty versatile, you know. We you could. Can, all of the ones that I wrote down for Trump, we could have a Trump draft. Just just the best <laughs> Trump memes. Because he is he has been the funniest one of all of any president. Like, you know, I'm not even gonna tip any picks, but there's there's a few that like that aren't Trump, but Trump is the overall number one funniest president. He's a meme lord. <laughs> Okay, Angel. Um, I don't know. Mine's not. Mine's not that good. All right. So, is this a retweet of someone saying, "Um, is he really, or he really is going through some stuff?" And Donald mm -hmm. Donald tweeted out saying, "I had an election rigged and stolen from me, and our country, the USA, <laughs> is going to hell. Am I supposed to be happy?" Do you just want to put in Donald Trump tweets? <laughs> yeah, Donald Trump tweets. I think because that's like a whole separate 
I mean, you could just say Donald Trump tweets are just a single meme. Yeah. I think that's hilarious. Because I guess, because one of the things I had was a tweet, so that technically takes it. But Trump, when he, uh, both the, co- the, when he tweeted out Coffee Faye or something, do you remember that? It was like some really, it looks like he butt dialed Twitter, basically. I, was, uh, I haven't seen that. You had to have seen this because it was like all over. It was during his election, I think. It was, uh, he tweeted out, no, not coffee day. Okay, he says <laughs> on uh, 5 31 2017. So, this is after he was elected. Despite the constant negative press, Kov Fife. That's all he said. <laughs> I can even, uh, I'll send you guys the link to it. I think that's exactly what he meant to say. <laughs> I'll put this in the chat. I guarantee yeah, you chat. guys have seen it. You just, you, you have to look at it again to remember it. Maybe I've seen it, but I'm not sure. Um, Bro, what the heck? New York Times is giving me this pop-up. I get to pay $1 a week. No, thank you. Nobody cares about that. New York yeah. Times overrated. I think we're a better media than them. We put out better better content than the New York Times. Nobody cares about the New York Times. Um, okay. I Let me think. This is a tough one. I, I have a lot of options here. All right. I'll go... Uh, I'll take my classic, classic one, and I'll take... Pepe, the, the green frog thing. <laughs> Pepe. Uh, that's, I think that's I have like, that as my backup. That's, that's really the good. one that's like, that'll win you the draft. Just mm-hmm. taking that one as a classic. Nah, that will not. Nah. That is the classic meme. Isn't it? Yeah, but it's not going to win you the draft. It could win you. Just having that and no, then Jordan I, crying. I have you? one. I have one in my bag right now that's going to win the draft. Well, you know what, Leighton? You got to – or <laughs> you know what, Angel? You got to wait for me. Yeah, because I got another one. Okay? I got another good one. I think I'm going to go – yeah, I'm going to go Cheems. Cheems is another fantastic meme as my miscellaneous. Cheems? I kind of have to take him. I have him sitting right above my shoulder and right here. But Cheems, and I don't know, I don't know if you can throw Doge in there too. I think he's a part of the Doge universe. Oh, oh, okay. So it's like Doge slash Cheems. Or I'm putting in Cheems slash Doge. <laughs> but those guy, those two are some of the more popular animals for any sort of meat on the internet i mean what other animal is more popular than doge i don't know pepe oh look i have pepe too you guys don't have any animals animals are cute animals win draft uh, i'm about to take this draft back real fast well let, let's wait for angel said he's gonna take his he's gonna take the draft for classic i think this is a classic i don't remember when i first saw it but it's the Nick Young meme. That one, yeah, that, I. Yeah. That's because I had that one written down for my miscellaneous. Oh yeah. I think I think classic. That that was in the Vine days though. I think that was like around the time I Vine feel like was that's getting a classic. I think that was a Vine. Oh, it, that is a classic. That is a classic. Yeah. I didn't know how to write that down. I just knew it was Nick Young. Okay, um, Leighton. Okay, so we've got two in a row here, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, 
I think for movie and TV, I'm going to try and go with Big Chungus. Because, you know, it is and, Big oh, Bugs I know. Bunny. So it's, you know, TV. I'm counting it there. <laughs> then that for my works. Yeah. Then for my miscellaneous. They tried to correct me to Big Changes. <laughs> for my miscellaneous. Oh, I think I'm going to pull up. Capybara. Okay, I pull up. Capybara. Wait, just wait. Do you want capybara or okay, I pull up? I feel like it's like the same thing. I guess I would just do overall capybara. But okay. I love capybaras, so that's a great pick. I love that pick. Yeah, you know, it's a it's a pretty new one I just, too. I just <laughs> it's I just a new see the time. draft right there. You can't be Big Chungus or Capybaras. Big Chungus, hold on. Big no, Chungus is ones. not as loved. I got good ones. Big Chungus right. better be loved. I'll argue this on my on my time around. Angel. Yes. All right. Um. So this is the TV. It's gonna be the SpongeBob. I I'm a head out picture. <laughs> That's a good one. I say. I love that, Vic. That started. That's like what, just like that's what I say sometimes when I leave places. I, I'm a head out. That's what, <laughs> yeah. that's all I say. I'm like, yeah. all right, I'm a head out. When I when I get off this call, sometimes I say that. <laughs> and then should I say my miscellaneous one? No, not yet. All right, I'm up next. Um, all right, let me think. I have sports classic. Oh, my miscellaneous one is so good. And miscell- I have my miscellaneous. All right, I'm going to go. Because I can't. I wanted to do the Trump taco salad, but that's in a tweet. When he when he put on when he put on Twitter, a picture of him smiling over a taco salad and saying Trump Tower, um, <laughs> Trump Tower makes the best taco salad. I love Mexicans. <laughs> It's the funniest like tweet I've ever seen. <laughs> and he actually said that. That wasn't a joke. He, from his Twitter <laughs> account, he said that. Um, but I'm going to take <laughs> Joe Biden just saying Minnesota at a rally. <laughs> Soda! <laughs> <laughs> Minnesota! And it, it sounds like he's saying something else that uh, only Angel can say on this show. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then my final pick. Um. I'm going to take, uh, fuck it. I'm going to take the Homelander meme that's been going viral right now. Wow. I have to take it. It's, it's going viral right now. It's not the greatest, but I think that's the one. I mean, you have to pander to the audience He's a little bit. He's simping for the views, yeah. Homelander, Homelander with the violins, it's a fantastic scene, and I have seen so many just terrible things people have said. And then it's just that, like, when people agree with them. Um, like, I saw one which just said when uh, – I think it just had something to do with women's rights. And some guy just saying, when I said, I, you know, women don't deserve rights on this one channel, and everyone agreed with me. And he put that meme. <laughs> it was like, okay. But – that that's a I think it's I think it's gonna be a top tier meme in the end. I think it's gonna live for a long, long time. What what's the no? What's the shaking the head for? I think it's gonna be short lived, like most pop culture memes. Yeah. No, I think, I think this think one's gonna too. live a long. I think it's gonna live for a long time. If I if I could put money into it right now, I would. If I could, if there was a stock for memes, I would do it. No way. Hell yeah, I would put money into that. I think that can can go any it can be attached to anything. It's an ageless thing. It can be attached to any sort of opinion. No. You're wrong. You all are wrong. 
Mm-mm. You guys are idiots. <laughs> you guys are. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Angel. Your right, last pick. Um, for our miscellaneous, I'm going to do um, <laughs> the uh, the uh, um, review of the 2019 film Joker that happened, or this happened to my buddy Eric. <laughs> Oh, what? that's I. I've seen that. I've seen that, dude. It's all over. How do you guys not know? It still. I've is. seen it Some on people TikTok. Still say that. I've seen it on TikTok before. That you know you had you hyped that pick up. It's so a good much. one, man. I thought it was going to be the greatest. Oh, it's, it's just a review. I thought it was going to be the, the greatest, greatest miscellaneous review. pick ever. It it's the greatest review. It it does not. You know, it, it, it's it's funny. I'll give you that. I but it it is not the best one. Wow, wow. I just I can't I can't say that. Uh, I don't like yours either. One. Well, that's fine. I know. I know <laughs> everyone doesn't like mine. <laughs> Layton. Okay, so my classic. This is going to be a stretch, but I think I can prove why it deserves to be classified as a classic. I'm going to go with the Drake hotline bling, like oh, that's a yay or nay. Yeah, I, I think it's old enough, and it's so, it still gets used, so it's timeless enough to be a classic. Unlike the Homelander one. That isn't. Yeah, yeah, Homelander one's going to die next month. Yeah. No, but I don't they're think still so. gonna be having Drake point at stuff that people like and go nay to stuff people don't like. I think forever. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna start posting the Homelander meme. <laughs> just start posting every single day, just to get just to keep it engaged, <laughs> just to keep it going, just keeping it moving. But I'm just gonna for, I'm gonna force it to happen now that I'm dying on this hill. All ten of our followers are just gonna <laughs> stop following us. Seventy <laughs> something. It's at seventy something. We confirm like that daily, daily Homelander page. 76 followers. Okay. Give us that. Give us as, as many as that. Um, all right. Let me go over. Let me go over the picks. Alex, Jordan Crime meme. Uh, Pepe. Is it Pepe or? Yeah, it's Pepe. Pepe. Um, it's Cheems. not Pepe. <laughs> <laughs> Cheems slash Doge. Biden, Minnesota, and Homelander meme. Uh, Angel, I took that personally. Donald or Donald Trump tweets. Um, Mick Young questioning SpongeBob. All right, I'm gonna head out. And this happened to Eric. Uh, Layton had us in the first half. Trump, I'm gonna come. Big Chungus, Capybara, and Drake, Hotline Bling. Um, do you guys have any uh, honorable mentions? Yeah, any. Like Chad memes. Those are pretty funny. Those are pretty funny. And then also the um like Incredible Hulk or not Incredible Hulk. The Inc- Mr. Incredible like phases or whatever. Yeah. You see what, those videos? What about the Galaxy Brain? Those Galaxy those memes? Brain? Galaxy Brain memes? You know, oh, where it's like, oh yeah, yeah. Like, where I it's like, like pooping in the toilet, like <laughs> pooping in the urinal, pooping on the floor pooping in your bed you know like that just you know that was the first one that came to mind <laughs> angel um i don't know no no uh no no uh honorable mentions i like uh johnny sin's beams those are funny <laughs> Sal, that was a good one. All right. I feel like I it's a, not really a meme anymore. I have a lot. I did about 15 minutes of research on this. So, for my classics, I have Bad Luck Brian. You guys remember him? I don't. The goofy looking kid. And the one I saw of him was like, uh, finds the pill to be immortal and chokes on the pill. Oh. Yeah. That kid. He's a pretty mm-hmm. classic one. The ones that I looked up, they're more like fa- the Facebook memes, which like all the classics have kind of phased into Facebook. Um, Grumpy Cat. That one's a pretty 
classic one. Uh, the burning room. This is okay. The dog sitting in the burning room. Um, the guy from Office Space saying that would be great. Uh, that's a very that's like early two thousands, like probably when the internet started. Um, it's been eighty four years from the Titanic. Uh, all right, then keep your secrets. So uh, what if I told you from the Matrix, Kevin Hart, like holding the microphone and like going like this with his eyes really wide. That was that always, I guess, did pretty good numbers. And Antoine Dodson, the guy that like he was on the news and he. Uh, oh, my. He was like, oh, hide your kids, hide your wife, blah, blah, blah. If you look him up, he has like a Wikipedia page on him and everything. Um my movie ones are Damn from Friday, like the movie Friday. Um, Michael Scott, the No God, Please No. Uh, the Rock, Driving the Car and Turning Around. That's like more of a classic one. Um, Chris Pratt, holding his hands up to the three velociraptors. Uh, <laughs> the Thanos meme, the perfectly balanced one where he's holding the knife. And it's perfectly balanced which I could have just put in like all the sexy Thanos memes. <laughs> so people would like draw him with a giant dick. Yeah. <laughs> or And Thanos truck and stuff. Yeah, all that. Um, let's see, I have the high ground, that one. Um, Gru, Gru, like Gru's plan. Um, where he's like, first I'm going to steal the moon, then I'm going to shrink the moon, and then it's like on a, it's him on a toilet or something. Um, mm -hmm. And then I'm something of a scientist myself uh, from Spider Man. Um, let's see, and then my political ones: Bernie Sanders when he's sitting at the inauguration with the mask on, with his legs crossed. That one was pretty funny. Uh, Trump getting a hole in one and putting out the statement. I don't know if that was a meme. That was just something that I found really funny uh mm -hmm. trump signing remember when trump signed the bill and he was like holding it up to everybody and going like this and then people would just like write stuff on it <laughs> that he's like showing everyone um when trump was at the rally and he was going turn the lights off turn them off and he was screaming at the guy um trump and kanye just anything they did together was pretty funny trump with the glowing orb Remember that one where he's like standing there with the two other people holding his hands on the, the orb, like in Saudi Arabia or something. Um, Nancy Pelosi clapping. I remember she was doing that at him. Uh, it was just something that I saw on there. Uh, impeach versus in a peach. That was, that I like was, those memes. That was something that, that went they on. Put for Donald a while. Trump in a peach. <laughs> 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 um and then the hall of presidents trump robot that it looked like hillary clinton because i guess disney that would turn into like a conspiracy theory that disney thought that hillary was going to win so they made a hillary robot instead of a trump one so i don't know that that one was kind of funny to me um my sports ones lebron after the finals when he was going like this to uh to jr smith that that did pretty good numbers. Um, Bryce Harper telling the reporter, that's a clown question, bro. Then that turned into something. Uh, Manti Teo's fake girlfriend. Um, and Eli Manning, just Eli Manning in general. His face, pretty funny. Um, and then the miscellaneous, that's the one I really have a ton for. Um, the guy, <laughs> the guy that's the bald black guy that's just saying thank god for my reefer and he's crying while smoking a blunt and he's coughing he's doing like <coughs> and he's crying and he's that one's funny um the guy that's listening to headphones and he's crying like violently crying at the desk um oh yeah the old guy on that like daytime television show that started crying there's, if you look up like crying, crying old black guy, it's pretty funny. Um, this is how I win from Uncut Gems. Uh, any Adam Sandler outfit. Uh, Homer Simpson backing into the bushes. Uh, Tiger King, Capybara, 
Nick Young, which those are already mentioned. Um, Elmo versus Rocco. I thought that one was pretty funny because Elmo like wanted to kill a pet rock. And there was just a bunch of stuff from Sesame Street coming out. Uh, 50 Cent hanging upside down at the Super Bowl and he was fat. <laughs> uh, Mike Wazowski, pretty much anything from him is pretty funny. Um, Julia Fox saying uncut gems. The like uncut gems. He was my, or I was his muse. That I just, it's just funny to see people make fun of her. Um, gentle minions. Is that how you say it? Oh, yeah, yeah. The, you know, them, Morbius. Uh, the fact that we got Marvel to re release Morbius in the theaters, which is <laughs> hilarious. They made, I think they made like $25,000 on it. Yeah. Um, my brother in Christ. That's a meme. Like Biden was saying, I remember there was one Biden was standing there and it was like Joe Biden thinking on how to like defeat the Republicans. I don't know. And then somebody said, my brother in Christ, you're the president of the United States, like actually do something, which is other funny ones. But that was just the one that I saw. Uh, Kramer, what's going on in there? Um, this one, this one's a homage to our show in Biden's America. Oh, yeah. Um, anytime somebody says they're an empath, uh, the rock eyebrow raise. <laughs> that one really makes me laugh. Um, and then the guy saying you got too much tip on your chip. I don't know why that one just really kills me. So there's a lot. I hope people were laughing uh, when they're when they're listening to that. Um, so, yeah, I, I told you guys I came over with a lot of shit. <laughs> Very okay. nice. Yeah, that's it. Um, oh, yeah. Special announcement. Um, during the football season, we'll be doing an extra episode releasing Wednesday mornings, um, recapping that week's uh, week of football. So I'm sure Layton would come on every once in a while, you know, talk about those Buccaneers or the Eagles, one or the other. The Bucks are playing the Colts in preseason. Yeah, whoop de fucking do. It doesn't matter. I know. I know it's all subs and whatnot, but, you know, Colts are still going to get clapped out of their minds. Right? So. I, I literally don't care. <laughs> I, I, could, I, will, I actually watch preseason games just because I want to see some of the new guys. And I don't know. It's football. Like, it's I haven't had football since February, so it's nice to watch football for a little bit. But I do not care. Like, <laughs> if you think I'm going to sit down and be like, all right, let's go. I'm ready. Let's get a fucking dub in the preseason. Preseason games matter more than the Super Bowl. I used to think, and this actually worked out for a while, that your record in the preseason related to your record in the regular season because there were 16 regular season games and four preseason games. And, like, when you win your first preseason game, like, whatever record you have, it's going to be the opposite. So... Like if you go one and four in the pre or one and three in the preseason, you're gonna go, what is that, twelve and four in the regular season, because gotcha. you know it's split up into quadrants. It worked out for a little while. I was kind of right for a little while, and then it, you know, then the Colts like had a bad season, and I was like, okay, doesn't doesn't and work. Had several bad seasons. Shut the fuck up, lady. <laughs> We're gonna drive our cocks down your throat all right don't get me fucking started on the buccaneers you guys you guys bought a quarterback who who doesn't even care about football he doesn't care anymore ah, tom bro. brady doesn't give a shit we we won in our home stadium the okay. weekend blew the stadium away you know <laughs> easy bread you you are excited about the best weekend football performing at the super bowl the weekend is good. I'm actually going to see them on August 4th. Him, at Raymond James him, again. Him yeah, and him, Drake him. are the two corniest dudes I've ever seen. Trash take. Him and Drake are the two corniest guys I've ever seen. Bro, the weekend is literally number two most played current Spotify artist. He's literally like so decorated. It's insane how much, how far out of everyone else's league he is as an artist and in uncut gems he had sex with adam sandler's uh girlfriend in that 
So he's an asshole. He's a fucking asshole. Oh my goodness. He did he he did what the script told him to do <laughs> as an actor. Oh my goodness. Doesn't matter. I will never like him again. I will never care. I I hope the weekend steps on a Lego when he's on stage. I hope he does that. And he's never getting yeah. did you actually did you see Kid Cudi um rolling loud was this weekend and Kanye like dropped out at the last minute, so they had Kid Cudi jump on and people were throwing bottles at him and he goes if somebody throws one more goddamn bottle at me, I'm walking off the stage. And he walked off the stage. <laughs> it was so funny. I did was, not see that. It was hilarious. Well, so it's, I mean, the only, again, it, was, it just started becoming a meme, I think. Like, it's going to be another, it, it's not going to be like the Homelander meme. The Homelander meme is going to live on. Oh, Angel, where are you in the boys right now? I finished it. Let's go. What'd you think? Uh man, another year for uh, season four. They're filming in August, so it's probably gonna yeah, probably like Halloween or Christmas of next year. God man, which is better than the last one. Like we waited like two years for season three. Oh really? Yeah. Really? Damn. Yeah. But I I hated um the final episode. Yeah, it was pretty times. lame. That, it, I didn't like. Yeah, I hated how they turned on Soldier Boy like that. No spoilers, dude. Soldier Boy was my favorite person. I know, bro. Is that A Train? <laughs> no, A Train is the uh, he's the speedy guy. Dude. Yeah, but who is? Are A-Train you talking about snake, Soldier man. Boy? Is literally one of the actors. Yeah, he's like Captain America. <laughs> no, Soldier Boy. <laughs> Soldier Boy is a is one of the characters, one of the heroes. Like. So, like, the rapper, musician, soldier boy. Is, no, he's not in it. Okay. He's not in it. Gotcha. Yeah, that's just a superhero. <laughs> gotcha. So, it's just Bro. someone, a superhero. So, in it. so you're, you're on TikTok. You've probably heard this. The uh, the song that it's like, what's the, how does the song go, Angel? It's, um. What's the song? Five... Soldier boy. <laughs> no, no, no. It's, um. what is that song? Hold on. I'm going to find it. But it's the song that he sings in that. Is ten times better than the original version. Let me find this. I started watching the boys, but I literally cannot get it's into Rapture it. It's Rapture by Blondie. Dude, why not? Here. I got into it when um they killed the first superhero. That was when I got into it. And you don't stop. Sure shot. Go out to the parking lot. And you get in your car and you drive real far. And you drive all night. Then you see a light. Comes right down and lands on the ground. And out. My ears are ringing. You can't hear it? <laughs> I can't hear it. It's just like, there's just enough static in there to just make me go crazy. Um, I have no idea what that was, though. <laughs> it's... If you ever heard the song Rapture by Blondie, which it's like a song from the 70s, he does a cover of it. Jensen Ackles, who's, to be quite honest, one of the most handsome men on the planet. I am fully secure in saying that because I've already had a, I've already had a special month. Uh, <laughs> but he sings his voice. <laughs> <laughs> He's had, his voice is better than the singer. Like he, is just objectively a better singer than the person who actually sang it. But Soldier Boy was the best character. The fact that they turned on him was That's ridiculous. Crazy. Yeah. Homelander so is a annoying. psychotic killer who murders people for no reason. Homelander or er, um, Soldier Boy, he, he smokes a little weed. He's he's a racist and a bigot, but he's still like doing for the overall good of the of the world. All because he punched Ryan. That's it. The kid's an asshole anyways. I fucking hate that. Yeah, kid. fuck Ryan, bro. Kill him. Bro, and then the final scene, like when now that you've seen like that, you know, that the violin scene at the end is like the last scene. Now that you've seen before that, like it's fucking creepy. Like that meme, the Homelander meme is fucking creepy. Just because like he kills the protester. And just like, all right, all right, like what the fuck? And then it, it's getting too political. It's gonna. Hey, get too I don't think I watched. I don't think I watched the ending of that. 
So you have to watch the very end. Like the very, very end is important too. Like if that's, that is that meme. That's where that meme comes from. But the, like the shot before that, what Homelander does is I gotta, shocking. Yeah, I gotta do watch that ending. And Ryan is such a little bitch. I hope that kid gets fucking like destroyed. Homelander's gonna lose his mind and kill Ryan, I think. No, nah, no way. I think he might kill him. There's I think no he way. might. He's he, way he's too cra- attached. Dude, he's, he no, but he's Ryan. crazy enough. He's, he's crazy, crazy enough, enough to kill whoever touches Ryan. But he's crazy enough to kill Ryan. Dude, no That's way. No way. No. I think if There's Ryan no does something, You're wrong. You're wrong. Because Ryan touches no, no, no. himself. No, no, no. We, <laughs> we have seen Homelander, like, when he gets frustrated with Ryan, like, he clearly is, like, this little fucking kid. Like, he's he doesn't look at it like a father getting frustrated. He's like, I'm fucking pissed off with this kid. I think there's a chance in the future Homelander may kill Ryan. I wouldn't say kill Ryan, but hurt Ryan. Or hurt him. And then if he hurts him, then Ryan might go back to Butcher. Yeah. Or maybe but, not. Maybe just go on his own. Yeah. I don't, I don't understand. Fucked up fucking, shit, bro. Bro, Butcher, dude, dude. He, he's, he's going down the wrong path. Bro. He's, he's, he's going to die. He's and Huey, bro. Huey was... Everyone everyone that season, dude, was just being, like, fucking idiots, bro. Like, it was they annoying, were, man. They were all really, yeah, just dumb. Uh, yeah, like, at that point, I didn't, I, at that point, I didn't care if, if, uh, uh, Starlight broke up with Huey. All I cared about was Captain America, bro. Every time I saw Captain America, I was like, let's fucking go. <laughs> you mean Soldier Boy? Oh, yeah, Soldier Boy. Oh, bro, when Noir died, dude. Oh, Noir, man, I felt so bad for him. That 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 really was, did like watching that yeah. scene. I knew Homelander was gonna kill him because he was like, "Why didn't you tell me?" I was like, "Fuck, it's over." But just watching that and that scene is so yeah. The, this is a, that that cartoon part was just so weird. I know. I know. Well, I was watching it, and Sam comes in the room and she was like, "What are you watching?" I was like, "I'm watching the boys." She was like, "That's what are you talking about?" And I was like, "Yeah, it's just you just gotta watch it. Like it's it's just bizarre how they do it." But it's they, they do a good fucking job, dude. They do a really good job, and they're gonna make us wait a whole year for a new season. Did you watch the the cartoon version of the boys? I didn't. I didn't watch that yet. The di- it's called Diabolical, right? Yeah, I didn't, I didn't. watch or something. It I heard it's like it's about Homelander as a kid, kind of. Oh really? But he's like, like he's not actually a kid. Like it, you know, he's like the cartoon version so i think everyone kind of looks like kids in that yeah so no nah, i don't know i'm not I've, i know they're doing another one where it's like a school for the heroes they're like it's an actual like live action one it's not a cartoon um but that's going into production in like six months or so school of heroes that sounds terrible i don't like, it's like i don't like things like that I know I'm not I I wish I'm not a huge fan of like spinoffs of of other shows or like yeah. movies because I know there's doing they're doing like some spinoffs of The Hobbit or something and they're doing spinoffs of Game of Thrones and it's like you guys are milking the bag too much like Homelander sucking milk from a cow which is <laughs> <laughs> dude that shit is so weird bro when he drank the breast milk like he drank like I think he had some of what's her name's breast milk saved up and he just, you know, he'll like drink at it and sniff it every once in a while. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's so fucking creepy. It's so weird, man. And I think, but I think at the same time, at the same time, I do, I feel bad for him. Yeah. Like, I mean, it's, he grew it's up like, in a lab. He didn't have any parents. He, he was never given a chance to be a good guy. I don't think, but like, just, he just wants to be loved. He Anthony Starr, the guy who plays him, is so good because Bro. no matter what his facial expression is, it's terrifying. Like if he's smiling, it's crazy. Like it looks ear edited, to ear. bro. Yeah, like if he's smiling ear to ear, it's like holy shit. What's he gonna do? If he's frowning, or he's upset, or he's crying, or he's just like blank face, it's always like, what is he gonna do? He's, he's gonna do nice something job. crazy. And then he's being eyed to play Dracula in the, in a new in a Marvel movie, which we know Leighton isn't too happy about Marvel producing any new films. But yeah, Marvel will be. Are you gonna watch the new Thor? 
No. <laughs> Why oh, would oh, I? Oh, I didn't watch yeah. the other three. <laughs> I think I might have watched two of the Thors, but the first one was good. Second one sucked. Which actually, the second one wasn't as bad as Ragnarok. I hated Ragnarok. Dude, I love Ragnarok, bro. It it come like you can tell Marvel doesn't know what to do with Thor because they're just putting out these like shit bags of movies like they don't have any sort of like plot development for him like it's just kind of like all right let's throw him in a comedy and see how it does and then let's throw him in another comedy see how it does and it's and like it does oh my great every god time. no dude yes. ragnarok was not a great dude, ragnarok movie. was amazing what do you the first thor was just terrible man it was so boring the first thor yeah the, yeah because it was serious yeah it's boring what do you mean it's boring? It, it's, supposed his, to, his, it's supposed to be a real-world adaptation look, of so a superhero. boring, man. What do you think? They're going to crack jokes every 10 minutes? Is that what you want? I, I like where Marvel is heading now, you know? <laughs> Dude, ever since... Ever since... <laughs> I, I will acknowledge that most movies before Endgame were fantastic. They had a lot of bangers come out. Now, Captain Marvel, on the other hand... Oh boy, let me tell you about that movie. That was not a good movie. That was just never objectively Captain Marvel. That was objectively just a very difficult movie to watch. I don't I don't like Brie Larson as an actress. Anyways, I don't think she's a funny actress or a, a good actress as it is. And it just Captain Marvel was just an objectively bad movie. Um Black Widow, what they did immediately after Endgame, the this the effects in that are awful. I mean, did they pay somebody? Did they pay somebody ten dollars to do that? <laughs> like, I think they just cut the budget because it's Black Widow, and they're like, "Oh well, we don't want to spend too much money for a a female-led movie." <laughs> I mean, female come on! It clear. I mean, it clearly shows that they cut some sort of budgeting on there for some reason. I don't know why. I mean, I get it was a COVID movie, but they can still do some pretty cool things in COVID. Did you guys like um did you guys ever uh, watch um I think it's Moon Knight? I think my dad's watching it right now. I heard it's good. I'm I'm not really interested. I don't I'm not interested in their shows. I'm not really yeah. a big like, yeah. show guy. And like the doctor the new Doctor Strange, like you had to watch WandaVision, I guess, to understand part of it. And I was like, I'm not watching WandaVision for this piece of crap movie. Who's Wanda? Uh what's her name? Um Scarlet Witch. Oh, Scarlet Witch, the yeah. most powerful person in the whole Marvel universe. Yeah, because so, their powers are limitless. They so literally have the limitless powers. Having, like I watched. What's the point in them fighting each other or fighting a villain? My dad was watching it for the first time, and he was like, "Oh, it's it's an entertaining movie." Like I can admit they're entertaining because they have like cameos and action and stuff. But like a lot of times, like it's just like, why doesn't Doctor Strange just cut her head off? Like, can't he just do that? Why doesn't Doctor Strange like use his little portal just to kill everything? And it's not like Batman with like the moral thing where it's like he doesn't want to kill. It's like, all right, that's part of the story, I guess. And even Batman has limits to his power because he's yeah. just a guy. He just has the weaponry. But Which, like, yeah. The Batman, literally... hold on, hold on. The Batman doesn't kill that thing is the that was created by the Dark Knight in that series. Batman kills in the comics. Pa- Batman kills in plenty of comics. All right, Batman <laughs> beating the shit out of somebody, paralyzing them, it kills them. It's you're dead. You're a dead human being at that point. He's killing people. He, if anything, he's worse for leaving them alive. He kills people for jaywalking. <laughs> Bro, if you get Sprite with the water cup at McDonald's, <laughs> he's gonna come in and kill you. <laughs> Actually, he won't kill you. He'll paralyze you, make your life even worse. If Batman was a true hero, he'd just kill the person that he's beating up. Makes no sense. Well, Batman, even in Dark Knight, does kill. It's quite rare, but he kills Two Face. But which his, that, no, his no. deal is no guns. His deal is no guns. Which again, there are comics where Batman uses guns. He uses yeah. gun type things. Like wasn't there wasn't there a, a, in the beginning of a Batman movie he was using a gun? No, that was uh, those are the fake Batman. At the beginning of uh, uh, the Dark Knight, oh, uh, yeah, and he when, grabs a shotgun and 
bends it. Which yeah. is like, come on, bro. I'm not wearing <laughs> hockey pads. <laughs> What's the difference between you and me? <laughs> I'm not wearing hockey pads. <laughs> <laughs> Which, like, listen, I would do that. That's, I mean, it looks like it's pretty fun. You know, you walk around that's wearing also, hockey that's... pads, beating the shit out of people. And that's how you, you know what we should do? We should comedy. play hockey. We should play hockey. That's what you do in hockey pads. You beat the shit out of people. <laughs> but I have I have a lot of uh the if you spend I, I've spent some time on Reddit now and everyone's just negative, first of all. If you're on Reddit for like 10 seconds, you just become more negative. Because like even if you look at like the Superman subreddit. That's like one of the more positive ones. And people are still like, oh, you like this guy who played Superman? You're an asshole. Like, you can only like this specific person. Like, shut the fuck up. Everyone has a good thing. But they talk about the Batman and they love that it's no kill, like no guns. Like, that's not reasonable. I'm sorry. Like, if you want to make a reasonable superhero movie with a guy who has no powers, he's going to need a gun. He's going to need some sort of, like, gun-like thing, at least. Because, like, he uses a gun in Batman vs. Superman. Like, it's like the, the kryptonite gun. Right? I mean, that counts. That fight. Huh? I mean, he, he has, like, guns on his cars and stuff. Yeah. In, but I think it's in just the Dark Knight, he has a gun on his car. He just punches when he's... Well, it doesn't like, count if he isn't holding the trigger on the gun. He isn't actually holding the gun. If it's on his car, then it's the car shooting. Yeah. <laughs> so, and that's more of like a turret, not a gun. <laughs> and those those bullet-looking things are not bullets. They're just little pieces of metal fragments. He's firing he, blanks Yeah, that that's are it. causing explosions and damage to people. Yeah, that's it. He doesn't – Batman doesn't use guns ever. Okay, it's the dumbest fucking argument. That's the only thing that I have a problem with with DC. Marvel, I could go on. I could go on after Endgame. Actually, Endgame was a bad movie too. Pre Endgame, Angel, do you think Endgame was a good movie? Endgame? Yeah. Yeah, it's a pretty good movie. Oh, hold on. What? Why do you think it's a good movie? <laughs> I mean, like, I'm not like no the, diehard like the time Marvel travel sucks. The time travel sucks, right? What are those rules? It's like you can go back in time. You're gonna change this other. You're gonna change this timeline, while it's also affected in this timeline. But nothing in the past is affected in the same timeline. Could they not come up with something better than that? I mean, they're they're pretty intelligent people who come up with that shit. And they can't do that. They're idiots. <laughs> They're morons. All right, I'm done. Uh, that's too negative. For me. <laughs> too negative. <laughs> that's, it's too negative. I, I mean, I get why Endgame made a lot of money because you know Captain America grabbed the grabbed the hammer and you know <laughs> yeah that one scene. What, made what all I mean, the money. let me hold on. That scene was a. That's like an adrenaline boosting scene. When you watch that in theaters, you're like, damn, I wish I was out there with them running towards thanos like when he just goes avengers and then everyone starts to pop up he goes assemble and then everyone starts gunning it that's a good scene admittedly how much i hate marvel it's admittedly a good scene i'm only waiting on spider-man now (laughs) huh i'm only waiting on the next spider-man now i don't i those are the only marvel movies i still go to watch uh and i don't even think they're good i just think they're entertaining <laughs> well no way home was like i just like that toby mcguire and andrew garfield were in it that's the primary reason i went to see it it was a I fan need more to- I, need, I need more toby mcguire spider-man in my life hold on the tom holland reportedly not involved with spider-man 4 Toby Maguire comes back. Uh, I wouldn't see that happening. I think they're <laughs> gonna do like a Miles Morales thing, or either a, a black Spider-Man or um, the Amazing Spider-Man Four. I think. 
No, it, it's in the same neighborhood. Oh, is it? Or in um, universe. It's uh, Zendaya's MJ and Jacob Balaton's Ned Leeds would return. Um, Dude, it's going to be Black Spider-Man then. Miles Morales. Yeah, it's got, because they mentioned it in, in Homecoming too. You know they're doing uh they're doing a black Superman movie too. Because <laughs> Leighton, Leighton, you got a problem with that? <laughs> no, I'm just, you know, they have super well, the... black man. <laughs> super black. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> so there's another Superman in another universe that is black. I don't get to talk about this too much on the show. So, like, I'm very excited that I can at least discuss a little bit. There's another universe where Superman is black. It's a completely, it's not Kal El Superman, which is your typical Superman. It's another one. But they should use Super that name. Black, man. <laughs> they use that. <laughs> I'm going to make a movie poster with that. <laughs> Super black man. Oh my God. <laughs> okay we're moving on okay, <laughs> okay. forget about that awkward jump cut you know <laughs> <laughs> awkward jump. do you guys have anything else you want to say because i'm ready to end this thing i don't think so i'm excited for the ping pong tournament let's go hopefully no more uh outbreaks is there anyone who isn't able to do the new dates there might be a few people okay. well we might have some extras to join so i'm not sure right. if any of the listeners out there are interested just dm us and, uh, <laughs> pay an entry fee of 100 dollars. <laughs> uh any sponsor let me know anyone who's interested in sponsors obviously uv property development is still attached to the project yeah, whole um, project is brought to you by UV. <laughs> where you get your property tomorrow. developed. <laughs> we'll develop your property ASAP. All right. Um, love you, Leighton. Love you, Angel. Love you, Angel. Love you, Alex. Love you, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Say it. Say it. He's never going to say it. Never going to say it. It's his staple at this point. Love you guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I still have to make that t-shirt. I still have to make the t-shirt where uh, TV peaked at regular show, by the way. So it should be out by the time this episode drops. So, uh, uh, yeah, I'm, I, I'm not saying love you again. Sorry, said it. Uh, Angel, you have anything else you want to say? Any, any You want to say you love, love you to somebody? Love you guys. <laughs> Ha, <laughs> ha,